Hello everyone, Weather Jamaica here. Welcome to this updated video on the weather across Jamaica and the rest of the Caribbean. It is Thursday evening, June 6, 2024. Now before you jump into it, please ensure that you guys like the video. I'd really appreciate it if you guys get this video up to 100 likes. If you don't know by now, that's how the YouTube algorithm works. We all like the video and then the YouTube algorithm pushes the video out to more weather lovers or rain lovers just like you guys so that we can build this weather community in time for the peak of Atlantic hurricane season that's August through to October so that we can keep everyone safe. Share this video with your friends, your co-workers, your relatives and even your church brethren and subscribe if you haven't yet done so. Leave a comment down below letting me know what though that has been like in your year recently. Also, feel free to ask any weather related question that you might have about the future of weather in your specific area. Alright, so let us take a look at what the US National Hurricane Center is showing on their Atlantic Tropical Weather Discussion. So, we can still see that they're highlighting the fact that we're having a lot of heavy rainfall taking place across Hispaniola, Cuba. That has to do with the Greater Antilles. Jamaica is right there to the south of Cuba, right there to the west of Hispaniola. So, we're definitely in the mix and we've been feeling it even today. They stated here, scattered to numerous moderate to strong rain showers are from Jamaica to the Bahamas near 26 degrees north between 72 degrees west and 85 degrees west in the northwest corner of the Caribbean Sea. And if we take a look back at the rainbow satellite images, we can see all of what they just stated. All of the clouds bringing showers and thunderstorms to sections of the northwestern Caribbean including Cuba, the Cayman Islands, the Bahamas, sections of Jamaica and even Hispaniola. If we continue, they're basically stating that a broad upper level cyclonic wind flow spans the areas that are between 50 degrees west in the Atlantic Ocean and 90 degrees west in the Gulf of Mexico. Expect significant rain showers through Friday. The hazards to land are dangerous lightning, heavy rain, and gusty winds through Friday. The soils remain saturated. It is possible that more heavy rain may lead to flash flooding and mudslides, especially in north central Hispaniola for this afternoon and for tonight. The rainfall for Hispaniola and Cuba will be influenced heavily by daytime heating. So just like what we got today, most of our heaviest rainfall occurred after we had the midday our past so afternoon rainfall that's diurnal convection the local sea breezes and the mountain upslope lifting abundant moisture will cover most of cuba and the cayman islands today as another upper level trough reaches florida and the southeast gulf of mexico and if we even take a look at the rainfall forecast by the euro and the gfs supercomputer models so we're just going to be focusing our attention on the next three days that's the next 72 hours and we're gonna be looking at this area across the Caribbean the Greater Antilles including Jamaica Jamaica right here so let's begin so going out we can see the time frame right here and we can see all the grains represent rainfall by what we see on the key on the right I represent what up to an inch or more of rainfall the yellows we know represent up to six inches of rainfall or more so we're going out and we can see that even by Friday, we start to see a lot of greens that represent rainfall across portions of the same spots that's on the Euro model. Even going into Saturday, we still see much of the same. A lot of heavy rainfall, especially across the Cayman Islands and Cuba, we see those yellows and going out. We can even see that we still have some amount of rainfall plaguing the area even on Sunday. But more so most of that across the western portions of the caribbean to the west of jamaica so let's go back we're stopping right there at the next 72 hours the gfs however if we take a look so we're gonna be going out in time seeing what's happening so this is by 18 on friday which is actually 1 p.m on friday and we still see a lot of rainfall right there to the northwest of the island even on land across jamaica all of these yellows and reds near the cayman islands cuba going out in time to saturday we still see some amount of rainfall still plaguing the area even although the hurricane center says it should be going into friday we still see much more even on saturday and even on sunday we still see some lingering we see that on the gfs we still have some amount of greens represent rainfall lingering not so much on the euro model at all 
for the end of the 72 hours and if we actually go out to the next seven days in terms of rainfall we know that most of this rainfall is going to be plaguing the area within the next three days across the western caribbean and we see more so we have those purples that represent up to two to even three inches of rainfall or more mainly across the western caribbean gfs is a bit more robust with the rainfall totals even getting into some burgundy colors that represent up to six inches of rainfall even some dots of yellows in there that represent what up to what, 12 inches of rainfall that's ridiculous and even uh, these maps from the weather net site confirm what is being shown that definitely a lot of rainfall is going to be plaguing the northwestern caribbean and there's definitely going to be a lot of flash flooding taking place but we see jamaica is definitely going to be in the mix we see more so reds than anything else for the next 168 hours that's the next seven days gfs even showing some purples in there for eastern jamaica that represents up to three inches we'll see exactly what unfolds and i'll definitely be here to keep you all posted as it relates to what the u.s national hurricane center is showing on their seven day graphical tropical weather outlook as of the latest post there's still nothing to show there's no tropical cyclone activity expected within the next seven days if we take a look at the surface map of the Atlantic for this evening, we can still see that the entire Atlantic basin is still being dominated by ridges of high pressure that we know are responsible for sending all of the easterly trade winds across the main development region into the Caribbean. And with these easterly trade winds, we know a lot of dust comes off of the Sahara Desert. Not to mention, a lot of tropical wave comes off of the western coast of Africa. You can see one tropical wave right here to the southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands. Another tropical wave right here to the east of French Guiana. And another tropical wave affecting portion of the Southern Caribbean, including the ABC Islands and Venezuela. You can also see the broken orange lines right here associated with the trough attached to any airflow pressure. That's still affecting portion of the Greater Antilles, which explains all the cloud cover showers and thunderstorms. If we take a look at the visible satellite images of the Atlantic, let's reload these so that we have the latest so we can see that the sun is definitely going down as we see the darkness pushing from east to west so we see a lot of clouds showers and thunderstorms across the greater antilles including jamaica and we're going to be talking some more about the rest of the caribbean to the later on but let us focus our attention on what was predicted in yesterday's video about the weather across jamaica for today it was stated that we would have received some amount of morning rainfall across sections of some southern and eastern parishes Jamaica and then we would receive some afternoon rainfall across section of some eastern northern and western parishes in Jamaica and we know that when we're talking about western parishes we're talking about those parishes in the county of Cornwall so Hanover St. James Trelawney Westmoreland St. Elizabeth we know when we're talking about central parishes we're talking about those parishes in the county of Middlesex so St. Anne St. Mary Manchester Clarendon St. Catherine but when we're talking about eastern parishes we're talking about those parishes in the county of Surrey so Portland St. Andrew Kingston and St. Thomas. Southern parishes, you know, we're talking about Westmoreland, St. Elizabeth, Manchester, Clarendon, St. Catherine, Kingston, St. Andrew, and St. Thomas. While northern parishes, you know, we're talking about Hanover, St. James, Trelawney, St. Anne, St. Mary, and Portland. And what ended up happening? As early as 5.56 a.m., a post was made on our Twitter page. Keep in mind that these posts aren't only made on our Twitter page at Weather Jamaica, but on our Instagram page at weather.jamaica, on our TikTok page at Weather Jamaica, and on our Facebook page at Weather Jamaica 876. So if you have one of those social media platforms, please ensure that you follow us there as we make posts throughout the day that you can't afford to miss, posts that we don't make here on our YouTube platform. So we see that the visible satellite image was posted and it highlighted some clouds bringing some isolated showers to sections of some southern and eastern parishes just as predicted so that's definitely some rainfall across section of portland st thomas section of kingston section of st Catherine, clarendon and manchester definitely got in on the mix during that time of the morning then later on at 7 25 a.m we saw that the clouds were definitely coming in from the south bringing some overcast sky showers and thunderstorms to sections of St. James, Hanover, Westmoreland, St. Elizabeth, and Manchester. Then even by 9 a.m., we still saw that we had the Cuban Doppler radar images showing that same fiasco that the satellite images were showing. We know we have to be depending on the Cuban Doppler radar because the Jamaican Doppler radar has been done for quite some time. 
and we see here the greens that represent light to moderate rainfall definitely affecting sections of some western parishes at that time even some rainfall across eastern jamaica at 9 a.m then by 1 35 p.m we saw that we still had that southeasterly flow across the island bringing some amount of rainfall to sections of st thomas and portland even section of st mary at that time and it was actually coming to fruition eastern northern and western jamaica because by 2 55 pm we saw that the infrared satellite image was posted showing some thunderstorms across sections of st thomas sections of portland sections of shiloni st anne st elizabeth definitely got in on the mix and it even became even more robust if we take a look at the latest infrared satellite images we saw what took place let me even reload these images so that we have the latest we can see a lot of thunderstorm activity definitely that was plaguing sections of st thomas kingston st andrew sections of st Catherine, definitely portmore got in on the mix sections of clarendon getting in on some heavy weather as we speak and even the cuban doppler radar images the latest ones are confirming what we just saw definitely still some rainfall lingering across the northwest so hanover st james Trelawney, and some heavy rainfall definitely plaguing section of clarendon coastal areas of manchester right there on the border of clarendon section of st catherine definitely still getting in on some amount of rainfall and if we take a look back at the comments to confirm the rainfall we have winsome foster on our twitter page stating southeast st elizabeth is getting rainfall now it started from around 5 this morning that was posted at 7 54 a.m we have warren barton 12 12 stating rain and thunder in port moore that was just now we have winston Ebanks had some early light showers in southfield to treasure beach area of st elizabeth this morning still overcast at midday but still hoping for a good shower Fiona Dowdy stating raining in St. Elizabeth. Even on our Instagram page, we had a comment coming in. Edward Senisha stating, I'm in South Manchester and we wake up to see rain falling. My mom in North Clarendon and she called to say heavy rain and thunder. Scrub Satire Jamaica stating, rain in Maypen Clarendon. And we had Kimberly Ash 94 stating, a lot of rain in Black River. Female underscore gods underscore 539 stating rain in West Milan. Even Moshi Ta stating Bull Bay almost wash away rainfall a while ago going on lightning and thunder. Look at like it not even done dark up same way. Road underscore 3000 underscore stating St. Thomas raining now. And finally, we had Kel 4011 stating glad for the little port more getting. Lisa underscore shorty stating flash floods discontinue or mobia washway. So yes, the meteorological service definitely discontinued their flash flood warning. But we still see that we're definitely being plagued by some amount of rainfall. And even the live camera from C Jamaica's YouTube channel confirmed this. And we can definitely see when the rainfall was coming in at around 4.20 p.m. We saw definitely some rainfall across section of crossroads more so a section of downtown kingston and crossroads than anything else as we can see that looking to the north to saint andrews hills we don't see much in the way of rainfall plaguing those areas at all we definitely see a lot of cars there with their windshield wipers on persons walking with their umbrella and we definitely had some amount of rainfall across the corporate area as we wrapped up the day in the afternoon if we take a look at the temperatures right now we can see that we have 27 degrees Celsius in Montego Bay, 27 degrees Celsius in Kingston. And by about 4 a.m. on Friday, temperature should dip down to about 26 degrees Celsius in Montego Bay, 26 degrees Celsius in Kingston. Taking a look at the temperature forecast for tomorrow, this map from the GFS is showing 18 d on Friday, which is actually 1 p.m. on Friday. And we see Jamaica right here embedded in some yellow colors that we can see by the key on the right that represent 1 degree Celsius above average temperatures. And we know the average temperatures for the month of June across Jamaica are about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. When we take a look at the thermometer, 90 degrees Fahrenheit is about the same as 32.2 degrees Celsius. So we should be receiving anywhere from 32 to 33 degrees Celsius at most for Jamaica's temperature on Friday. We can still see that the entire Atlantic Basin has a lot of dry air, but look at the region that the Caribbean is located. 
a lot of blues represent moist air and a lot of these moist air is contributed by the troughing and the tropical waves that have been plaguing the air we don't want to see all of these yellows oranges and reds that we know by what we see on the key on the bottom that represents a lot of dry air we know that when we have a lot of dry air across the basin we have a lack of rainfall so we'll take all the moist air to put some more rainfall on land so that the temperatures can cool down as well taking a look at the siren dust forecast for 2 p.m on friday we do see all the browns represent the siren dust trail stretching across the middle of region into the caribbean we see that some of this siren dust should be making it into the jamaica era right here by 2 p.m on friday so maybe some hazy skies will be seen during friday afternoon taking a look at the wave forecast for tomorrow we can see that we have more so in the of those lighter shades of blue to darker shades of blues that we can see by the king bottom right it represents anywhere from 0 0.5 a meter wave height to one meter wave height and that's because the winds are gonna be coming in from the east southeast for the most part averaging anywhere from 10 to 20 not and we do see that the air is gonna be piling up across sections of northern and western jamaica again so we're gonna be getting in on some amount of afternoon rainfall across the north we have those cumulus clouds building to mid-level rain clouds even some cumulus nimbus upper level clouds and keep in mind that we could get in on some amount of rainfall coming in across section of some maybe southern and eastern parishes again more so eastern parishes than anything else off of the sea and the upper level wind shear is in consensus that we're going to be receiving more of that flow from the northwest across the island and if we take a look back at the satellite images that we got today we saw those high cold clouds being blown off towards the south and east that's exactly what we're referring to and we have those cumulus nimbus clouds building across section of the island we have those high cold clouds bringing more and we have overcast skies the section of some southern and eastern parishes than anything else so we might just see a repeat of that on friday so definitely northern jamaica is going to be plagued with some afternoon rainfall but as stated eastern jamaica could get in on some morning rainfall look at this the u and the gfs malls are showing the blues represent rainfall what time is this 11 a.m eastern standard time it's actually 10 a.m jamaica time and they are both in consensus what about the afternoon hours now this map from the year and this map from gfs are showing 4 p.m eastern standard time which is actually 3 p.m jamaica time and we do see the blues represent rainfall where across sections of some eastern northern and western parishes in jamaica Euro has more of the rainfall across some south central parishes but we're gonna be more inclined to believe what the gfs is showing eastern northern and western jamaica again with that south or east south eastern flow across the island and the accumulated precipitation forecast maps confirm this keep in mind that both of these maps are showing all the rainfall that's expected from now up until 10 p.m on friday and i'm saying that's gonna be raining from now all the way up until then but these areas are gonna be picking up the most in the way of rainfall we see the euro showing up to an inch of rainfall right there on the south coast the gfs a bit different showing more that rainfall across the northwest with all of those 0 0.8 or 0 0.87 0 0.89 even the eastern portions picking up on that as well up to one inch we see that one and we're indeed grateful for that we're in the month of june we're in our secondary rainy season we usually receive up to 133.35 millimeters of rainfall during this month and we'll take all the rainfall that we can get to put some kind of a dent in the drought that some areas are currently experiencing not to mention the very warm temperatures as right, so that's it for the forecast across jamaica let us focus our attention on the rest of the caribbean so as stated we have a lot of clouds bringing showers and thunderstorms in sections of the bahamas cuba the cayman islands jamaica we see some of that rainfall coming into section of hispaniola puerto rico and we also see some of that rainfall coming to section of northeastern south america associated with the intertropical convergence zone so anywhere south of nicaragua costa rica panama colombia venezuela section of guyana Suriname, french guyana getting in on some of that rainfall as well if we take a look at the doppler radar images of the northeastern caribbean we're going to be seeing exactly what took place across the leeward islands and Puerto Rico today so we can see that as of right now we don't have much taking place across the Leeward Islands but we do see some graves represent rainfall across the Dominican Republic some rainfall right there across the northwestern portions of 
Puerto Rico. And if we put these images into motion, from about 12 noon today, we saw where we had that rainfall, definitely affecting sections of the US and British Virgin Islands. All of that pushing eastward, affecting maybe section of St. Martin. But as of right now, most of that rainfall has pushed off to the west of Puerto Rico. If we take a look at the Barbados radar, we do see some isolated rainfall taking place coming in from the east across section of especially eastern Barbados. Some rainfall passing to the north of Barbados heading west maybe to affect section of St. Lucia and St. Vincent. Not much rainfall taking place across section of Martinique or Dominica at all. But we do see some isolated pockets of rainfall affecting section of northern Trinidad and section of Tobago. If we take a look at the wider view of Doppler radar images, we can see that rainfall that has been affecting sections of Cuba, the Bahamas, section of Florida, not to mention section of the Dominican Republic. We can also see some isolated pockets of rainfall affecting sections of Honduras, section of Guatemala right there, section of northwestern Venezuela, and French Guiana. If we take a look at the temperature forecast for tomorrow, we do see that we still have those yellows and oranges that represent above normal temperature that should be plaguing the entire Caribbean into the Gulf of Mexico. And we can also see that the Saharan dust is definitely still plaguing sections of the Eastern Caribbean, sections of the ABC Islands, sections of Northern South America, heading into sections of Eastern Cuba, the Southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, and Haiti, Dominican Republic, and Jamaica. If you take a look at the wave forecast for tomorrow, we do see the lighter shades of blues that represent anywhere from 0 to 0 0.5 for meter wave height that should be plaguing the Gulf of Mexico, the Western Caribbean, while the darker shades of blues that represent anywhere from 1 to 1.5 meter wave heights that should be plaguing the central to the Eastern Caribbean. And we can see this on both the year and the JFS malls, and that's because the winds are weakest across those areas where we have the least amount of waves, the Gulf of Mexico, the Western Caribbean, while the winds are strongest, as we can see by these greens, they represent anywhere from 15 to 20 knots, maybe even gusting to 25 knots, as we can see right there to the north of Venezuela, and we see the general direction east to south east as it relates to the rainfall forecast now these maps are exactly why we're here we want to see where it's going to be raining within the next 24 hours from now until 10 p.m on friday and we do see the rain definitely in store for section of the bahamas southern Tur well the turks and caicos more rain definitely in store for cuba not to mention section of haiti dominican republic the cayman islands jamaica section of puerto rico not much rainfall for the eastern caribbean at all Maybe some isolated pockets, but we do see if we look southward. More rainfall is definitely in store for French Guiana, Suriname, Guyana, section of southern and western Venezuela, Colombia, Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, El Salvador, Guatemala, Belize, and even sections of the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. I know that when both maps from the year and the JFS malls are in consensus like this, the chances of it actually happening are much higher. Alright, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching.